Stop worrying about where you're coming from and start thinking about where you're going to. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment. I'm Todd Conklin. This is your Operational Excellence Joy, at least for today, nonetheless. So, you know, you've heard us talk a bunch, I mean a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, about redefining really our safety, moving away from outcome to understanding capacity. That's all really important. But let's talk a little bit about why that definition makes a difference. So Daniel Hummerdahl, if you don't know him, he's worth looking up. He talks about moving safety from the absence of a negative to the presence of a positive. The challenge I want to give you is that I think we talk about safety, uh, 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 we, we talk about safety in a way where we're talking about where we are, and we do it at the expense of talking about where we're going. Does that make sense? It's kind of, it's kind of awkward to talk about, but we talk about sort of how we currently perform, not how we're going to perform. And in a way, that is a part of the idea of how we define safety. If we see safety as the absence of an accident, right, the absence of an injury, the absence of a failure, then obviously what we're going to do is retrospectively just hammer, hammer, hammer on anything that happens as a failure and try to keep failure from happening. In in fact, what what we got to do is see safety as really a direction to move towards, not a direction to move away from, but to move towards. So safety becomes really not the absence of a failure, but in fact the presence of a system that allows us to do what we need to do. That's a very important way to think about this definition of safety, at least safety differently. Safety is not the absence of accidents. Safety is the presence of capacity. And I've had a lot of questions about, well, why don't you say the presence of controls or the presence of defenses or the presence of safeguards? Well, all those things are certainly a part of that discussion. There's there's no question about that at all. The issue is, and this really is the issue we're thinking about, is that all those are pretty linear and pretty old-fashioned. And if something fails, we'll say they failed because there was the absence of that control. When in reality... You have to think about safety as building capacity in the organization to recover, the capacity to be resilient, the capacity to fail safely, the capacity to do high-risk work and have lots of variabilities, but to manage those variabilities within the system and to recover when small, tiny, weak signal failures happen the entire time they're happening. I don't know if this makes sense. It's a, it's a hard thing to think about, but it's a really important safety moment. We're moving not from where we were. We're moving to where we're going. And the language we use to define the future actually creates the future. That's the safety moment for today. I hope you listen carefully and <laughs> learn something new. That's always my goal. I want you to get everything you need. That's for sure. Have as much fun as you can. Learn something new every single day. And for goodness sakes... Be safe.